Now, making a statement, your ability at two or three, even if we narrowed it down to a level three, in order for you to progress to this particular level, it's going to take an amount of enable, which is to say that you're going to have to be granted from the very beginning the opportunity. This starts in the home, it starts with the parents, and it filters into the community. For some reason, we've lost that. It is actually now being channeled into the, I want to say the other, and what I mean by the other is the, uh, what I mean by the other is the other minorities, this is the quote unquote minorities, uh, who we choose now to call ethnocentric, the ethnocentric uh, portion of the communities are feeling the backlash from not only our inabilities, but the backlash from lack of ability in levels two and three in most cases. There are going to be a lot of people that are in those levels two and three that, well, really don't have a capability of staying there without causing a problem. Now, I, I'd like to address, a, I'd like to, right now I'd like to ask a question. If equality was real, what are we at the lower levels to be thinking about people who are at one and two? Are these people at one and two being treated equally? Are they being treated in the same fashion that we are? Uh, are they being taxed the same? Are they following the same rules? Tell us what is going on with these people at level one and two. You see, the people, and I, I do mean um, women, I do mean people of every ethnicity, of the 50s and 60s had this realization 50 years ago, even before that. Our problem has been educating people to come to this realization without having to too much use physical force. Being able to communicate this information without being too blatantly obvious of what's going on. It's difficult to share a small portion of money on a continuous basis because people at lower levels are going to get a hold of this particular type of thing and not know what to do with it. There's a greater portion of society that has to be taken care of on a continuous basis. We have to come to this particular understanding. It's not 100% necessary that we go through a finance course, but it may be necessary for us to go to, through a, an economy course to come to this realization. You see, the people from the 50s and 60s were so serious that men were ready to stand up and die. People like Malcolm X. Martin Luther King, Medgar Evers, the Black Panther Party, and the Ku Klux Klan. You'll see that in these particular groups, these categories, these categories of Black Panthers, they now filter into gangs. And the Ku Klux Klan, they take a different standpoint. They, they filter into what, what they call skinheads, which is also a gang of thugs. However, there is a serious difference, and I'm not 100% sure if you can actually see this difference. The difference is gangs have been integrated. You're going to find people with all types of colors and all types of background in what we call gangs. But when we go into the skinhead and the Ku Klux Klan, we don't see that kind of camaraderie. We don't see that they are fluently allowing people into their organizations to reach a more positive light. We're going to stay on the topic of skin color, race, creed, and culture, but I do want to keep in mind in this particular fact that men and women see equality differently. I think that in inequality for men and women, there's going to be mental versus physical, which turns into thought versus feelings. Make a mix and match it to think about these particular things and come up with your own theories. 
Now, with this in mind, the difference between men and women, we also have to keep in mind that there are hundreds of nationalities. There's only two genders. So I think our biggest class is going to be between two genders. It's going to be much easier for us to find a commonality in different cultures and different races. But I want, I want you to start thinking about something. This particular portion of our discussion. How quickly could individuals, we're going we're gonna to add title to several individuals, how quickly with a hundred thousand different positions, persons with completely identical skills, with all different races, which people are receiving these particular positions first? Now, you can do this calculation at any level. You can start from the, if you want to go back to the scale, you can go from five all the way up to one. And in those particular levels, insert the position that goes there properly. 